All right, guys. So about another big lot, kind of unseen type thing. This one here might not be the best buy I've made in a while. Took a gamble on it. It was described as fire fire alarms. I was thinking like the little electronic components that I buy often that wear out and break and need replacement. Turns out almost all of it is fire bells. So kind of like this guy right here. These don't really wear out and get replaced. There's not a whole lot of demand for these. So I'm sitting here and trying to figure out what am I going to do with this? Because I have hundreds of them. Absolutely hundreds of these bells. I got to thinking, well, instead of maybe marketing these as replacements for our existing systems, I was wondering, should I market these as like decorations for man cave? Or something like that. Man cave, bar, you know, fire theme. Someone has like a firefighter theme to their house. Maybe they want one of these fire bells up on the wall. Don't think I'll get too much for a lot of these. Like, I got both red and gray. I think the red will do better because of that theme idea. Gray, maybe not the greatest thing out there. Now, the gray, I got four inch and six inch ones. I'm probably going to just also listen to market, a Facebook marketplace. The four inch gray is 10 bucks. The four inch, or the six inch gray is 15. The four inch red, I might do 20 and 25 on the six inch just to try to move them. Okay, my back, I'm in this for under $200, so it's not that big of a deal. I mean, to me, it's totally worth the risk in 200 bucks. There are a few parts here. Sorry, my son is running off to his play area. I said, make sure he's doing all right. There are a few parts in here that I think will do a little bit better once I get them going. Like, I do have some actual fire parts. Not many, though. So, for the way I like to sell, this one isn't the greatest. But sometimes when you get a lot like this, you have to start, maybe your first plan does not work. So you have to go with a sec, think of a secondary, tertiary, even a fourth plan. Another option I have is I might send these to a local auction myself. You, I'm not sure the upload order of this is gonna be, but I did discuss one in town here that I went to. I'm probably not gonna buy from them again, but I may sell to them, or consign through them, not really sell to them have them do my auction for me and I might make it a little more clear of what it is than the guy who I got it from and we'll see I mean I've been in this for so little money like 200 bucks if you can't risk 200 bucks after you've been in this business for at least a year or two something isn't right you should have a little bit of a cushion it's not gonna hurt bad even if it's a total loss which I do not think it's gonna be it's gonna be a little more work than I wanted and these suckers are heavy <laughs> so these giant boxes full of them not fun. I do have some really cool old like old vintage ones. Like more like smoke smoke detectors. And I still might list these. They're no longer gonna be good. My some of those collectibles. I'm wondering if maybe like a prop house might pick these up. They're doing like a time accurate house. They may want a time accurate you know smoke detector up in the rafters. I would I'm not putting my house because, yeah, I think these are probably like 1980, 84. So, yeah, they're a little out of date. So, what do you guys do when your plan doesn't go the way you thought it was, good, was going to go? If you get into my, the way I do things where you're buying large quantity, very vaguely described lots, it's going to happen. If you're going to do that strategy, you must think of this. Sorry. The kid again, he decided to dump water on something. Luckily, it was something that can get wet, because some of this cannot. So, like I was saying, if you can get into this strategy of sourcing, you gotta think of those plans. What's something you guys did that didn't quite turn out to be what you thought it was gonna be, and how did you fix it? Let me know down below. See you. Bye.